Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome in another tutorial about Chaos Destruction System. And in this episode we are going to make the make a gun again. So let's launch our project and we will finally have possibility to test our destruction. <laughs> because from now on it was not that easy. It's this one I think. So basically, uh, shooting in uh, with chaos can be done in at least two ways. You can either um, fire a right cast, and in the place it hits, spawn a physics field of the explosion, or we can shoot actual bullets, which is, for example, uh, like shooting this this one. And then we can, uh, well, like in the previous tutorial, we can. Run, uh, file. <clears throat> well, it looks better, I think, than just explosions spawn in space. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's get to work. It's not that uh, that complicated. Uh, so the first thing we uh, we need to do is let's convert our uh, geometric collection of, of bullet to a uh, blueprint. So let's click this small button and uh, yeah, blueprint name BP bullet. Perfect. Okay. So let's save it and let's make another blueprint. <laughs> or a folder and a folder in it forces let's make a blueprint which is an actor and it's going to be push field BP push field so it's just going to be a field that pushes uh, chaos objects in a specific direction. Let's add an arrow, uh, which indicates uh, the direction. <clears throat> Let's add a sphere collision, but without uh, the collision, just to indicate size of the force so everything inside of this sphere is going to be affected by the force okay let's add field system yeah let's add field system not to the arrow just like that and let's add also radial fall off uh, uniform vector and an operator fear field. It's just a couple of variables used uh, by the field system. Ah, and make sure that you have enabled the uh, field system because it wasn't uh, enabled by default. Chaos field system. Oh, yeah, I will have to restore the editor. But let's, uh, oh, yeah, right. So let's restart it first, maybe. <clears throat> okay. Mm, let's open up the push field again. And on, um, well, we can make a function, fire, fire function. So let's uh, grab our field system, add transient field, because we want to add our field just for uh, just for a second, just for a millisecond. Uh, enable 
pick linear velocity those are different kinds of of fields and we are going to um, play with it in next tutorials set radial fall off uh, set uniform vector and set operator field well you don't need to understand it so well right now we just want a quick push force it's not that easy in chaos to understand all these nodes but basically we take uh, basically we take everything in the um, inside of a sphere so we we need to get, get a sphere sphere radius of our sphere and get location of our sphere so this defines like a physical space where the field uh, field where where the force is going to be applied and this defines the force that is going to be applied and which is uniform vector so we want to push uh, every uh, all the bodies inside in one direction and we need to make a variable which is force magnitude and it's float <coughs> and yeah let's just connect this to left field this to right field leave multiply here this is a force of our um, physics field let's put like uh, two, uh, 2000 in here and just connect it to to our add transom field and that's it direction oh direction yeah we need a direction which is arrow get forward vector and this is the direction of our force perfect so <clears throat> so now we have our push field we have our bullet so we just need to edit first person rifle let's go to on fire projectile and change spawned object to bullet bp bullet and now it's just gonna spawn bullet without uh, uh, applying force to it well at least it should great oh yeah nice it's already really nice <laughs> so let's also spawn the physics field which is uh, push push field perfect uh, push field let's move it a little bit oh my god without this all this yeah. So, and we will also have to call fire on the on the field. <coughs> uh, yeah. Spawn transfer. Same. Okay. Let's see how it works. Whoa! Perfect! <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we should also remove the push field actually. <laughs> Destroy. Or set lifespan. Let's just set lifespan to half a second. To make sure that it, it's fired and it's not destroyed be before firing and great so that was a quick tutorial how to make shooting with chaos and maybe well one more thing let's just increase force magnitude of our field to 3000 it should look it, it should look better and let's grab this gun and put it closer because it's annoying to go so far for a gun 
Whoa, that's so nice. Whoa. Yeah, I told you it's beta. It's not <laughs> it's not production ready. <laughs> but actually, well, yeah. It's not that bad, of course. Great! So now we can finally test the destruction. But <clears throat> there is also a small tweak that we can apply. Oh that was really interesting. Uh, well as you can see because we have uh, clustering on look at this at this bullet and how it breaks on the wall it's not smashing it's uh, it's bouncing and then the uh, breaking it's breaking after bouncing and when we go to our BP bullet and disable clustering This is just an exception, you shouldn't do it all the time because you know. But when we don't have a lot of uh, fragments, um, well, it's not that bad. So now, is, uh, if you look closely, it's smashing on the wall. It's a lot better. Yeah? Do you see the difference? It's, so, it's such a huge difference when you turn it off and on it's bouncing and then destroying and if you turn off the clusters it's perfect it's smashing perfectly so that's crazy I love it I love distraction with chaos it's so awesome and it's, and, and, and it's so impossible with any other <laughs> engine right now pretty much great perfect so we have our bullets ready mm, we could actually convert all our objects to blueprints mm. BP wall and right now we can you know it's it's nice to convert geometry collections into blueprints instead of just uh, you know copying copying geometry collections because if you want to change like damage threshold later or the material or I don't know clustering or something you would need to edit it in all the objects and if we make a gem, uh, if we make a blueprint then we can change it once and it's gonna change in all the objects but we can also of course uh, change it individually too so that's really 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 nice Right, let's save it and we can remove BP bullet from the center. Okay, nothing falls apart, that's nice. <laughs> and yeah, we can smash everything. Great. Woohoo! That's so great. Yeah! All right, thanks for watching. I hope that you like the tutorial. If you can, then support me by subscribing if you want more tutorials like this. And comment, leave a like, and see you soon. Bye.